Hey guys, so I'm sending you guys so much love. Peace out to Hot 8 Yoga. You guys, I was let go today from Hot 8 Yoga. And to be honest with you guys, I felt it coming. I saw it coming. Like I had a dream that I wasn't going to be there much longer. I just didn't know like the, the timing or the date. Like I just could feel it even before the situation that apparently caused me to, you know, be let go from Hot 8 happened. Um, I just felt it. And so I had already... I had already felt that it was time to move forward and but the you know it's like when you get comfortable and you're getting paid and you have things to take care of responsibilities to take care of you stay in it and you handle you know you handle things but honestly you guys it's weird because I feel like once you master something it's like time for you to move on and it's coming around full circle I think this around this time is when I was hired last year I was already a client and it's just interesting how things come full circle because it's like once you master something it's time to move on and i've been top sales for a while now last month i was actually i think i think the top yeah no for sure i was the top sales last um last month but i've been really knocking it out because we have to make one so first shift you guys so it's something that's required of us at work and then I've been also one of the cleanest um, because we are also, you know, required to clean. So it's really interesting. I had even um, said yes to an interview because the team had been trying to get me to be MOD, the second MOD. And it wasn't something I wanted, but it was something I was willing to take just because I'm like, okay, if it's going to pay me more, um, then that would be helpful. But it was just a dollar more. Um, and then on top of that, I was already doing some of the work that made me feel like I, you know, I might as well do it. I'm already doing some of it, you know? And so it's just interesting how you finally make it to a certain area in your, you know, in life, whether it's job, school, whatever, and it's just time to move on. And in this case, the universe said, girl, it, you're going to be stuck here. You got to move on. And to be honest with you, I asked myself, I said, if it weren't for Heidi letting me go, when would you have moved forward? Were you too comfortable? Because my goal to have worked there at Hot Yoga is to try to bring in some stability for me because honestly, it was too expensive to be there as a client. And I was trying to work on putting money aside from my home. And um, on top of that, um, I love yoga. I love yoga, I love the community already. I had already knew the community before I worked there. and. It just made sense, you know, to, to be a part of the team. And it's just deep how you you can give your all and do your best. And the universe says, hey, it's time to redirect that energy and put it elsewhere. And that's what I really felt like the universe is doing at this time because I have two, I have two certifications and I'm not teaching. I never auditioned. So that told me within itself that one you're too busy and you become too complacent here um you came here to get these trainings and to teach not to be front desk not to work here but unfortunately a situation happened where i felt like i had to defend myself and um protect myself and how did it let me go and i already felt it like i have videos where i had already you know processed and had kind of said goodbye to the to the community and to the the studio because i just felt it in my spirit that it was time to move on and they would probably let me go and i you know i'm not gonna be, i'm not gonna lie to you guys and be honest um there were so many times at hot eight where i felt like i don't know if i'm gonna if i'm safe here i don't know if my if being here is a, is safe because i i felt like there were times where it's like they could let you go at any moment they can cut anybody and they're very choosy about who they who they choose to stay and who they choose to let go and it doesn't matter what situation you were involved in some people they keep some people they don't and with that being said i'm happy with what i've done at hot eight i'm happy with my community i'm happy with my work progress it's taught me a lot about myself it's taught me about how how much i love people and and it also helped me to know that hey girl you could kill it with math like even though you have math with sexy you're like girl you can get those numbers right so um, I'm grateful for the experiences. I love yoga. I love community. And 
I'll continue practicing at other um, studios, just not Hot 8, okay? So I love you guys. I'll see you around. And, you know, it's so interesting because it's, it's just this bittersweet energy where I'm going to miss the community so much. And, you know, change can always be tricky and difficult, but it's just the people. It's the people. It's the clients. So if the clients ask about me, let them know that I love them okay let them know that i love them and i'll be teaching somewhere and i'll probably be teaching on my page as well like posting some videos but yeah that was the plan in the first place ironically i'm wearing this shirt one of my first hot eat yoga shirts and i just think that's so interesting like how things come around full circle but i'm happy like i won't have to deal with you know wondering am i okay i felt like i was walking on eggshells at hot eat a lot um so I'm not, it feels a, a weird sense of peace, you know, it's like, I don't have to worry about that. I, I go to work, do my job and know that I don't have anyone writing me or, you know, like, I know I'm going to be fine. I know I'm, I'm going to be good. So I love everybody. I love my team. I love the community. I love management. It's just time to move on. It's time for better things. And I've been sensing it. So that's it, you know, but I love you guys so, so much. Let me know if some awesome yoga studios to check out. Um, I'm ready. It's time. Peace out, hot eight. <laughs>